Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to set a lifted fret on your guitar neck. So this neck has been around for a while. Yeah, it's been through some stuff. And a couple of the frets on this one are actually starting to lift off a bit. They're starting to come out and bend. And where that tends to happen, almost exclusively, is right at the edges here. So I'll see if I can give you guys a close enough look here to see what I'm talking about. Might be difficult with this lens, but yeah, a couple of these are kind of popping out. They're not really sitting in there properly. Um, we're gonna fix that. Now there are a few different options for doing this and luckily there are, well I won't say luckily, but there are three frets here that need to be pressed back or put back into place. And I'm gonna show you three different ways of doing this. After each of them, you will need to consider, consider doing the fret leveling and crowning process again. Uh, we're not gonna cover that in this video because I've done it in several and I've got it coming up in a couple more or a couple recent ones or something. But for now, we'll get these put back in place. After you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to check them with a fret rocker and determine whether you need to take those next steps. So let's start with option one here, which I'll call the best option or my favorite option and that is to use a fret press. Now there are a couple different options. I've got, you can get one that loads into a drill press, those are really nice, or you can get one of these from Solo Music Gear, that's where I get mine of course. Um, as you know, there's a link in the description for solomusicgear.com if you want any of this stuff that I'm using here. You can check that out, that's an affiliate link, it helps me out. Um, so this, you get the various calls for your neck and then your fret calls. So this is a 9.5, radius fretboard and this is the appropriate piece for the neck so I go ahead and load this guy onto here lock it in place very straightforward I put my fret call in place and there's a set screw in here um, so what I've got to do is loosen that off and slide this into place and then tighten it back again this comes with a variety of options, in, all the way from flat down to six. So you can get pretty much any neck uh, dealt with there. And if you've got a compound radius neck, you've got some options in terms of uh, different radiuses that you can use. Radii, radiuses, it's radii. Anyway, whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna select the proper piece out of this set and loosen that off and we'll be good to go. Or actually, I guess I could not be such a weirdo and just use the Allen key that comes with it. <laughs> so pretty straightforward. We loosen this off. Put our fret call in there. Tighten it back up again. Don't have to go crazy here. And this is a nice option because it keeps everything even. It doesn't put any dents in the fret. Uh, yeah, it's just generally a, a good way of doing this. And it doesn't warp the fret. So you don't have to worry about it ending up in a different shape. And where is it? Let's do, yeah, let's do this guy first. Okay, so you just load that in there. Get it positioned so that the call is over the fret. It's got a nice little groove in it to hold the fret in and then give it a good squeeze. That's really all there is to it. And that fret gets pressed back in, problem solved. So that is option one. And in my opinion, the best option. These are also really good for putting frets in. That's what they're designed for, of course putting your frets into your fretboard. So when you put your frets into your fretboard with a press like that, you don't have to do as much work after in terms of the leveling and whatnot. Option two, not as good, <laughs> is a hammer, fret hammer. Make sure it's a fretting hammer, not a metal hammer. Now if you're gonna do this, you really need to focus on hitting the fret end and you will be more likely to need to go back in and do your leveling and crowning work after. But focus on the fret end and just, what is that? Part of that screwdriver. And just tap it back into place carefully. And then work your way to the middle. 
You have to start on the end because if you start bending away at the middle and trying to flatten it down, it will bend the other direction and it won't go back into place properly. Yes, this is a Hosco fretting hammer also from Solo Music Gear. Option number three is a fret setter, okay? And this is specifically designed for this if there's like a little problem with one of the corners. This guy's got a nice little groove in it. Hang on a second, hopefully. It's got a nice little groove in it. it goes right around the fret. And you can use this to very carefully knock the end of the fret back in. So for our last one here that needs to be set, which is this guy, put the fret setter right on the corner there. and knock it back into place. Looks good. That must have been borderline comical having me in the corner of the screen there. So this is a Hosco fret setter. Really nice for that sort of thing. And for when you're hammering your frets in, if you're building a neck and you're doing that, it's good to have this guy to kind of help you out if there are any issues with the corners. You shouldn't need it though. Doing it with a hammer is fine as long as you start on the outsides and work your way to the middle. All right guys, so that's it. Those are three different ways that you can reset a fret that has started to lift out of your fretboard. Each of them works, uh, some are better than others, and I think we've covered the pros and cons already. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And remember to subscribe so you can watch me actually build some necks coming up uh, and, and you know this guitar kit and, and that thing. And well, you get the picture. Thanks again, have a good one. I'll see you next time.